Welcome to our third day in. It's the 4th of August, I believe. I don't know. Time just goes over so quickly. Uh, I couldn't tell you what day it is. Friday, maybe. I honestly haven't got a clue. Um, but that's Jamboree life, I guess. So, just wanted to put it out there that I haven't done as many videos as what I wanted to do, purely for the fact that there's been a lot of challenges uh, within Korea. Uh, number one, the weather. It is really, really hot. And when I say really hot, I mean really hot. We ha have cold showers here, and the cold showers are just glorious. But I had a shower last night, and five minutes after coming out of it, I'm sweating again. So, you know, the weather is a massive issue here. Number two, bugs, uh, mosquitoes. Don't like me, or they do like me, should I say. Uh, I have a lot of bites, so it's a lot of the other units, to be fair. Uh, a lot of the other young people in our units got bites. Luckily, they're okay. The, the, the younger people, mine obviously not, but that's a different story. And it's just been, it's just been one of those kind of lives. We've had our hard days. When the first day we got here, oh, Tuesday, I think it was, Wednesday, I don't even know. Um, that was a really, really tough day. There was a lot of traveling. When we got here, it was hot. And I mean, really hot. It's hotter than it is in Seoul down here. It's a different kind of hot though. Within Seoul, you've got the temperatures of the buildings and there's more people. But here it's just warm. But it's been a good, uh, it's been good so far. You know, like I said earlier, we've had our ups and downs, but we're gonna get that. So I just wanted to put this video out there and get show you some of the things we've done basically since day one of being in Korea because we haven't been putting the videos up as much as we want. So we went to the DMZ, that was a wonderful, wonderful day. It was um, probably the highlight of our first time in, like our first day in Seoul. And that was, that was good. It was really interesting and I love things like that. And I think most of the unit also enjoyed it. Uh, those just really good feedback. We had a really good host uh, with us who uh, obviously knew her stuff because she had to, but it was, she went above and beyond basically in my eyes. Uh, and she was great. Seeing North Korea in the distance as well from the, the DMZ, uh, and the North Korean flag, that was, uh, that was quite, quite good when we saw that and saw the, the villages and I think uh, one person saw a farmer in one of the rice fields north of the border. Uh, so they are like normal people, obviously, just um, a, a really terrible place. I mean, if you want to How am I trying it? We want the E to be seen, don't we? Take two. Long. Here we go. Oh, we needed like a tight there. What about a friendship knot? Oh, yeah. Do, do you know how to do the friendship knot? Yeah, no, it's not. Can we do one? I can do it when it's on me. Do you not do it? Yeah. I can't do a friendship knot. Under, over, round, through, up. I think we've done it. Oh, it's not very. 
It's 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 a friendship knot. It's a friendship knot. It's a friendship knot. No, no, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> it's better than the half. Of you could probably hear behind me. Uh, there's aircraft around here. There is. Uh, when we got here, was, when we got dropped off from the bus, there was a display team. I'm assuming it's for. Korean version of the Red Arrows really and they did I think they, they were practicing because their base is not too far away from here and they practiced when we got here and again yesterday they was out and about and again I'll show some footage of that shortly <laughs> Yeah, back to back to Seoul. So we went to the DMZ, and then the young people were asking us to if they could have some time on their own, kind of off program, so to speak. So uh, we decided that we was going to do that. Obviously, we made sure they were safe. Uh, safety is our number one priority, being leaders and such. So they went off in their own little groups. Uh, we stated that we wanted groups no less than three, and it did work. It worked really well. Some people visited sites such as the Olympic Stadium, uh, the football stadiums. Some did museums and more touristy places. Others went shopping. And it was, it was nice to give them the freedom. We give them, we we gave them money for their food. Because what we wanted to do was obviously eat, have patrols and such. But we give them their money for their food in cash and got them to obviously get receipts. That worked really well. And then we did a. We wanted to go to a sheep cafe which just serves waffles and that would have been really nice but when we got there it was 8.30 in the evening and they closed at 9 and they obviously didn't want to cook 40 waffles so we didn't stay there and instead we went off in our patrols around probably one of the busiest places in Seoul it was the district where the universities are a bit like Oxford Street really imagine Oxford Street and a big university all merged to one it was busy some of the young people did struggle there were some uh, good times there I've only got video footage from my patrol for that I did ask for the video footage but the young people have been too busy having fun I guess if we could say to to get it done uh, again, I'll put some video over here. I'll probably overlay these videos. I haven't decided yet uh, what we're going to do. I, what do I do? Do I pull it off? They're like rock hard. I don't yeah. know what you're doing. You might want to pull <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to pull it off. Yeah, no. I'll hold you pull. That's not going to work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. And then the when we came to check out of the hotel, it, the UKC decided that it was not the site wasn't ready for us. And in a way, I'm glad they did. Our young people were just really resilient regarding it. They took it in their stride. They had no quarrels. 
we had to check out of the hotel and then check back in. Luckily, we didn't have to move hotels. Some of the other UK groups had to move all across the city to get to their new hotel. That was, that was interesting, let's just say, having to move our bags. And then we got confirmation on the evening after we checked in via a uh, meeting with all of the unit leaders in Seoul that we were we could travel down there was about nine units from the UK that couldn't because their uh, sub count wasn't ready luckily ours was so we had uh, we got the, the young people to have a good night's sleep some did some didn't the second lot of hotel rooms was it wasn't two to a room, it was three to a room. Uh, so that, again, made its challenges. We were all on two floors, which was nice, floor five and six of a hotel. So we weren't too far up. We did go up to the 17th floor. We had a room during the day and the views out of the 17th floor were just incredible. Absolutely incredible. You could see for literal miles I am really hoping that when we're in our next hotel that we've got a high floor just so that we can see those amazing views of the city. I saw a bird with a yellow bill. It landed on my windowsill. My windowsill. I coaxed it in. I coaxed it in with a K-pop poster. With a K-pop poster. I stuck it in. I stuck it in. My electric toaster. My electric toaster. I saw a bird with a yellow bill. With a yellow bill. It landed on. It landed on my windowsill. My windowsill. I with a piece of spaghetti. With a piece of... Yeah, and then that brings us to the Jamboree site. We got here, unloaded, started to build camp. We still haven't got our gateway up yet. That's a task for me uh, and some of the other people to get it done because we want a gateway. Every, pretty much every other unit has got a gateway except for us and it's making us look a little bit bad. So. We're going to get uh, a gateway done and I'll include a photo um, or a video of the, the, the young people trying to erect uh, a wooden gateway. So that should be interesting. And then yesterday, our first actual full day on site, it was really hot and some of the young people went off to do uh, activities. Others just stayed in the camp. We still had some things to sort out, like the tables, uh, the chairs. We didn't have no kind of, no organization to it. We knew where the kitchen stuff was. I took the lead on that. I made sure the kitchen area was all spot on because we were cooking last night. And then, not last night, the night before. Yeah, the night before. So we had to get all that sorted. And then yesterday we just finished off the, the main area. We got some shade, additional shading. We, uh, you could probably see a marquee here. It's, uh, this is a single one. We've got a double one at, at, on our campsite. But we put some tarps along one side and then made an extension to the other. So regardless of what time of the day it is there will be shade in there and it's actually a nice breeze coming through there which is good gareth vlogs
picture? I don't know. I don't. So that was a lot of things that we've been up to for the past, I think, five days. Don't quote me on that, because like I said at the beginning of the video, there's time just, you get lost in time when you're away on holiday. You probably know it yourself. It's a case of you don't know what day it is. And if it weren't for the fact that we've got a program and we're crossing out everything all the days we, we would literally get uh wouldn't know what day it is on uh on site but i think someone said we've got an another nine days here so yeah and then back in seoul which will be nice i'm looking forward to actually having a bed although i'm not i'm personally not sleeping too badly at the moment uh, we're gonna get a bed in salt and air conditioning which is great there's not many places around here with air conditioning there's the hospital tent there's the convenience stores but they're just they're quite small and they're busy and they are really really busy we went in we've been in most days just to get stuff like ice um, drinks yeah so but anyway that is everything that we've been up to so far we will keep you updated we won't do a video I probably won't do a video tomorrow but I will definitely do one for culture day which is two days time on the sixth today's yeah so it'd be two days time uh i'll probably get a video posted about that so yes have fun take it easy